Okay, this is video number one for uh, factor by grouping, and uh, I'm going to try to be as clear as possible so that it makes great sense for you guys. Um, to factor this trinomial, one of the best ways is just to look at the middle number here, the 7, and look at this guy here, the 10, and ask ourselves what two numbers add up to 7 and multiply to 10. I think that most of you would be able to, to say right away that those numbers would be 2 and 5 because 2 plus 5 is 7, 2 times 10, <laughs> sorry, 2 times 5 is 10. So what are we going to do with this piece of information here? We have the 2, we have the 5. Uh, we're going to split up the 7x into 2x plus 5x. And x squared, of course, comes down as I already brought it down, and the 10 also. Okay, so we have x squared plus 2x plus 5x plus 10. And why is that useful at all? Because now we can factor this by grouping. And so I'm going to take a look at these two guys and look for the common factor that they have. And they both share an x. So I'm going to bring it out and basically factor it out. x squared divided by x is just x. 2x divided by x is just 2. And I'm going to group these two guys together as well. I'm going to bring out the 5. 5x five divided by 5 is just x. 10 divided by 5 is just 2. Okay, and look at that. We end up with x plus 2 here and x plus 2 there. And why is that important? Because now we can actually just say, we can factor this, the whole thing, into x plus 5 times what they have in common, which is the x plus 2. Huh. And that's it. So x plus 5 times x plus 2 is the factored form of x squared plus 7x plus 10. Um, on this website, you're going to see quite a, quite a few of uh, the same oops, uh, videos uh, so that you can learn this process and become very comfortable with it. And um, that should help for any type of factoring uh, situation, which you're probably going to encounter many in uh, Algebra 1. So, um, thanks for watching, and if you have time, check out the website for more questions.